Let us solve some more questions on nth roots and indices. What could be the answer of this first question? Well, you can use the formula a raised to m times a raised to n is equals to a raised to m plus n. So what we can do here is we can write this as 256 raised to 0 0.16 plus 0 0.09. So this is equal to 256 raised to 0 0.25 and that can be written as 256 raised to 25 upon 100 and 25 upon 100 is 1 by 4. So this is equivalent to 256 raised to 1 by 4. Now you can reduce this further 256 is equivalent to fourth power of 4. That is 4 raised to 4 is equals to 256. You can calculate that. This is equals to 4 raised to 4 raised to 1 by 4. Now you have another formula a raised to m raised to n. It is equals to a raised to m times n. So this is equivalent to 4 raised to 4 times 1 by 4. So 4 and 4 gets cancelled out. What remains is 4 raised to 1. And that is 4. So the answer is option A. Moving on to the second question. What could be the answer of this question? Okay, let us write this in simple terms. We can write 0 0.04 as 4 upon 100 raised to minus 1.5. So if you have a number raised to minus 1 or a negative power, it is equal to 1 upon a raised to that power. So this can be written as you just have to invert the numerators and denominators. So this is 100 upon 4 raised to 1.5. Now 4 times 25 is 100. So this is 25 raised to 1.5. Now 1.5 can be written as we have 25 raised to 15 by 10. So 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 2 is 10. So this is equals to 25 is 5 square. So 5 square raised to 3 by 2. And that is 5 raised to 2 times 3 by 2. Another law of indices that is used here. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. What remains is 5 cube. And 5 cube is 125. So the answer is option B. Let us move on to the next question. What could be the answer? Well, you have a raised to m times a raised to n is equals to a raised to m plus n. So you can use this here. We can write, let us term this as x, the question mark. So we can write this, the left hand side as 17 raised to 3.5 plus this x is equals to 17 raised to 8. So the numbers are same. We can write 3.5 plus x is equals to 8. Therefore x is equals to 8 minus 3.5 and that is equal to 4.5. So we have the answer as 4.5. That was very easy. Let's move on to the next question. What could be the answer of this? This one's also very easy. You can write 36 as 6 square. So you can write 6 square times 6 square times 6 square times 6 square is equals to 6 raised to, let's term this as x. Now you know the formula a raised to m times a raised to n is equals to a raised to m plus n. So this can be written as 6 raised to 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 6 raised to x. So this is 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Therefore x is equals to 8. So we have the answer 8. Now the fifth and final question. Let's solve this and find out the answer. So you have 8 raised to minus 25 minus 8 raised to minus 26. So you know that a raised to minus 1 is equals to 1 upon a. That is a raised to any negative power is, is the reciprocal of that number. 
raised to that power. So we can write this as 1 upon 8 raised to 25 minus 1 upon 8 raised to 26. So this is equivalent to 8 raised to 26 minus 8 raised to 25 upon 8 raised to 25 times 8 raised to 26. Now we can solve the denominator but let's keep it as it is. You can take common 8 raised to 25 from the numerator. So if I take 8 raised to 25 common, so I can write 8 raised to 25 times 8 is equals to 8 raised to 26. 8 raised to 25 times 8 is 8 raised to 26, isn't it? Minus 1, 8 raised to 25 times 1 is 8 raised to 25 divided by 8 raised to 25 times 8 raised to 26. Now we can cancel out 8 raised to 25 and 8 raised to 25. So what remains is 8 minus 1 that is 7 upon 8 raised to 26 and this is equivalent to 7 times 8 raised to minus 26 and that's our answer right there. Option B.